So how do we best start someone on long acting therapy? Well, really the principles are the same as with any antiretroviral therapy initiation or switch. Checking someone's understanding and the appropriateness of the regimen for them. Making sure you've got the necessary baseline tests at the right intervals. A recent viral load is always a sensible thing. And if you're switching in particular to drugs that may change creatinine levels through that tubular secretion effect, which is several of the drugs we use, having a recent creatinine can be super helpful. Making sure that drugs are prescribed in advance, making sure that they're administered by appropriately trained staff, and making sure in the case of injection site reactions that the person you're giving the injection to has access to all the simple advice that can help. Making sure drugs are at room temperature, simple analgesia which may be taken prior to the injection, use of ice packs and avoiding strenuous exercise are all things that we've learned over time can help. Making sure that appointments are scheduled in advance that people can easily change those appointments if they need to and making sure they understand what to do if they're unable to attend. Because careful planning and efficient delivery means that we can ensure long-acting antiretrovirals are an efficient and effective addition to the options we have for people with HIV.